Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna be testing out a new foundation from Rimmel. This is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Wear Foundation. Now this says it's breathable and obviously it's long wear. I saw this at Walmart and I got really excited because whenever I see a new foundation at the drugstore, I want in on that. Additionally, it only cost me around $6.99. So the price is right, it's under 10 bucks. It says it lasts one more hour than a full day. Why can't they just put 24 hour? It like drives me kind of nuts actually. So this is a 25 hour wear foundation. I highly, highly doubt it. And at Walmart, as luck would have it, they were pretty picked over. So I had to grab these two shades right here and I'm hoping to mix them together and create something that resembles my skin tone. So I have the shade 103 True Ivory. I also have the shade 203 True Beige. Now looking online, they have 16 shades and I probably would have done better with 200 Soft Beige, but they did not have that at Walmart. They do have 16 shades. It's pretty decent. I mean, pretty okay. I really just feel like, couldn't they have just done two more, just like two more down here? Would that have been so hard? I just, I don't understand it. Let's get the scoop on this product before we shellac it on the face and wear it all day. I am of course gonna do check-ins for you guys. So this is a long lasting formula. It perfects your skin with a medium buildable coverage whilst enriched with breathable skin technology that doesn't clog pores. I don't know what that means. Uh, this says it moisturizes for up to 25 hours and has an SPF of 18. Um, okay. I normally don't look at the reviews before I try a product, but I, I just did the bad thing of like scrolling down. It says one star in one word, nope. Oh my gosh, one star, terrible quality. Ooh, people are not happy. One star, why Rimmel, why? Oh my God, one star. Hmm, not great on my normal to dry skin. At the end of eight hours, it was patchy on my skin. One star garbage. Oh my gosh, she said she broke out with cystic acne. Oh my God, one star, this sucks. One star, two stars, it made me break out like crazy. Why am I trying this? All right, and um, video's over. Cut. I'm just kidding. We're trying this out. We're gonna see what happens. Um, I have my headband ready. My shirt that makes me look like I've been either attacked by moths or gotten a fight with a cigarette. Ugh. I just got foundation on my black pants. Whoa, that is a doe foot applicator. This is giant. Okay, we're gonna go with the lighter one kind of up in this region, right in here. It smells like a beautiful luxury fragrance, which is entirely unnecessary. Okay, that feels really nice going on. I think it's blending pretty nice. That fragrance in there is strong though, dang. It smells a lot like YSL for some reason. Like it has that kind of YSL scent to it. This foundation is made in Monaco. It just seems very vacation-like. Like Monaco is a beautiful place that would make beautiful things. And I don't know, when I was reading that, I was like, oh, Monaco. All right, am I nuts or does that look good? That actually looks good. What is everybody talking about one star? It's very liquidy, I will say that. Like this is not a thick foundation at all. So if you like the full shellac, the full cover, this is not the foundation for you. I will also add that I'm not one for these kind of applicators. I think they get dirty really easily and can lead to bacteria growing in the bottle and you're smearing it on your face as your daily routine, which can then lead to some irritation not necessarily the greatest thing. I prefer, let's all say it together, on the count of three, one, two, three. Yes, that is correct. I prefer a pump. If I were to ever come out with a foundation, you better believe it would have a pump and not this business, you know? Oh my God. I didn't put primer on today. Why? Ah, oh, ah. Oh. That is the worst feeling. 
Um, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Once I have all of this blended in, I'm gonna take some of my smoothing primer from Tarte and I am going to hit on top of the foundation a little bit. That does work. Obviously it works better if you put it on underneath, but holy smokes, that actually makes me even more impressed with this foundation right now that everybody hates because it's going on really nice. I'm trying to build it up just a little bit. I have these sunspots right here that will just, I mean, they're just there. They hang out forever. I've explained to you guys my issue with SPF and whenever I spend any time outside, even if it's just like 15 minutes, they darken up really quickly. It's just a pain in my butt and I don't like to over exfoliate or do too many peels or anything like that. So it is what it is. And I usually just end up covering it up with foundation. Surprisingly, these two shades blended together quite nicely and gave me almost a nice highlighted look at the center of my face. So I am enjoying that. I like how it feels. It does feel nice and hydrating, but not sticky or goopy. It's very light on the skin. And so long as this wears well, I'm not gonna be mad about it at all. I was a little bit scared because of those harsh reviews going in thinking it would be gloppy and streaky and patchy, but it's not doing any of that. So what I'm gonna do next is my concealer test. I always like seeing how a concealer layers on top of a foundation, if it pulls it away, if it blends in together, all of that. So I'm taking my KKW concealer. I am still enjoying this. Let's just see what happens. Everything blended really beautifully. So right now I'm kind of shocked because I do really like this, but let's see how the day progresses. I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I will be right back. I'm surprised you guys. I like this foundation a whole lot more than I thought I would, especially reading those reviews. So right now I like this, but I haven't been wearing it for that long. So we are gonna see if there is any moment throughout the day where it gets super blotchy, greasy. I'm gonna insert a look at my foundation nice and close so you guys can see what's up without you know a bunch of other things on my face distracting you like my very blue eye makeup. And that's kind of fresh, like within an hour of wear. We are going to see what happens through the rest of the day. The only issues I'm having right now is there is a little bit of blotchiness right on my chin in this little divot right here. And I'm not sure if that's the foundation or if it's that I didn't use a primer. So we'll see what happens from there. But everything else looks pretty even and good and it feels good, so I can't complain. It's like I'm almost waiting to complain. Like because I read those reviews, now my brain is like, oh, but it's bad. So let's look for it to be bad. And I'm gonna have to try my best to not do that and just give like my own honest, opinions on this product because right now for $6.99, I think it's pretty good. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my God, this is not, ah! this is not my flattering angle, no, no. Your foundation is beautiful. Is it? Yeah, it is. Is it like a matte foundation? I don't think so. It's a long wearing, long lasting. It's got like a one star review, so. I like it. Hey, everybody wanted to know something really important. What's that? Where were your shoes that are the most comfortable shoes in the world? In the world. Wait, you're wearing them again? Yes. Who are they by? All birds. A-L-L-B-I-R-D-S. Wow. All birds. You struggled with that S at the end. Yeah, I almost went backwards. <laughs> And you have to say, not sponsored. Not sponsored. Oh my gosh, you should see his face, it's awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is outfit of the daytime. So I am wearing the sweatshirt that I wear the most. This is Lauren Michaels, I got it off of Revolve and I have gotten such good use out of this. I love the detail. I actually love the holes on this. Even though I don't normally like holes on shirts, if they're not too close together, I can be okay with it. My jeans are mother denim, and then my shoes, the only pair of shoes I own, or at least I behave that way for some reason. These are my Stuart Weitzman booties. Love them. Comfort always wins. All right, you guys, what do we think? We're about halfway through the day and the foundation is wearing so dry. This is such a matte foundation. I was not expecting that and I don't think it's supposed to be. So it's kind of strange. It does claim to be moisturizing up to 25 hours. So I know that it's not supposed to be matte, but it's like very, very dry on my skin. Has anybody else had this experience? Because not what I was expecting. The only thing that I noticed that's a little 
strange is my bronzer did not blend in the way it normally does. To me, it looks a little blotchy, and usually that has something to do with the foundation, kind of grabbing the product a little bit weird. So that's kind of bugging me, but it's not really settling in any creases. It's not breaking apart. I mean, I have rubbed my chin a little bit because I was just eating, but I always do that. I don't know why. I'm like a very messy eater. My foundation has to last through a good meal. That is a requirement, which is probably why I like all the full, like full glam, full coverage type of a thing. But uh, yeah, this is where we're at and I will continue with the check-in process and we will see at what point this long rain foundation falls apart. You guys, this took a turn at around 7 p.m. from being very matte to looking matte and kind of dry and oily, which is really not a good combo. So I wanna show you close up that it has started blotching in this region right here around my nose. It started getting very weird and oily and it just looks very uneven. It's also making my chin look like it has a lot of texture, which other foundations do not do that. So it just, it's like crackling apart and I'm not loving that. I don't like my makeup right now, you guys. I just wanna like hide. Um, by the way, I got foundation on my sweatshirt. Good job, me. It's just, everything is falling apart right now. Everything is falling apart from my hair to my eye makeup, which, did wear really well until I jacked it up. That's a whole different thing. I will link the Kim Kardashian Mario collab video below. But right now, looking at the foundation, ooh, it is time to wash my face. It looks like it's sitting on top of my skin now. That's the weirdest thing. It went from really sinking in beautifully and blending nicely and looking good to being really dry to then all of a sudden mixing with my oils and looking like it is just sitting on top of the skin and could be just like, wiped away. So I'm not a fan of this. I am curious what your experience with this foundation has been, if you've tried it or not. Leave that in the comments below, because this is the weirdest thing. It is so weird. I really, really liked it at first, and I was like, these reviews are crazy, but then it took that turn. So I don't think I will be wearing this again. I'll let you guys know if I do. This was just, by the end of the day, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, ew, gross. This is not a long wearing product. All right, that is that. I'm gonna go wash my face, wash the day off of me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. I do appreciate that so much. And I hope you're having a good one, whatever you are doing. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.